the LMB All-Star Game is a great event, but that doesn't mean it's perfect. That doesn't mean it can't be fixed because honestly, it's time for the All-Star Game, the All-Star Game break, the All-Star Game format, a lot of the things to change. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over six ways to fix the MLB All-Star Game. As always, if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to leave a like on it. That's the best way to show your support. Subscribe if you're new and you enjoy the content. We're on day three of the grind to 100k, so hit that sub button if you have not yet already. Get in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Maybe you have some other ways to fix the All-Star Game. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at GiraffeNeckMark. Links in the description. And then make sure to also follow me at GiraffeNeckMark on the Amino app, which is also going to be today's sponsor. Amino is an app that you can download for your phone on iOS or Android. Link in the description to download that. It connects you to a community of people that share a similar interest to you, mine being baseball. And I'm here to tell you about Amino Stories, a new feature on their app. Amino Stories are different than stories you've seen on any other platform. They're super high quality. They have a built-in editing system on there so that you can edit through their app. They're also super fast-paced along with the high quality so that you don't feel like you're watching something for way too long. And what really separates them from everyone else is that the stories stay on there forever. They never disappear. In fact, I like it so much that I've gone on and made a story myself about who's going to win the Home Run Derby for 2019 based off the players we already know that are in it. Go into the search bar, slide over to users, and search my name, Giraffe Nick Mark. Drop me a follow on Amino from your account, and then watch my story. You can even slide over to topics and type in any topic you want, like baseball, and find more stories. So if Amino looks like the app for you, go to the description down below, download the app today. Now with the MLB All-Star Game, as a baseball fan like me, I absolutely love it. I know that it's an exhibition game, it really doesn't matter, but I still do enjoy watching it. But for a lot of people, it's kind of a lackluster experience. It doesn't live up to the NBA All-Star Weekend. The NHL All-Star Weekend is fantastic as well. I don't even like hockey, but I like watching that. So how do we get people to have that same experience with Major League Baseball? So let's start off with the first way to fix the MLB All-Star Game. And for me, and this might sound a little bit controversial, but I'll further explain. So before you jump down my throat, let me finish. I think the way the rosters are constructed needs to be changed, specifically, possibly expanding them. Right now, there's 32 All-Stars on the National League and American League sides. It could honestly probably go to 40 and you wouldn't really be complaining. That way, you'd be able to get pretty much everybody who deserves to be an All-Star on the team. Now, some people say this devalues the meaning of being an All-Star, but at the end of the day, this is a game for the fans. It means nothing for the regular season. It doesn't mean anything for the postseason anymore. So why wouldn't you want to have as many players that deserve to be in it as possible for the fans to have the best experience watching. The players only play one or two innings anyway, mostly, so it really shouldn't make a difference to add a few more. But my biggest gripe with the rosters, honestly, is the one rep from every single team. Now, a lot of people think that you should absolutely get rid of the one rep from every single team, which I kind of agree with and disagree. I agree because at the end of the day, the best player should be on the all-star team. It shouldn't matter that the Orioles don't have one, so you have to just throw a random player on there. If they're deserving, they should be on there. I completely agree with that thought process. But in a game that's for the fans, you're alienating an entire fan base from watching the game from watching some of their favorite players because the team wasn't very good. So here's my proposed plan, proposed fix. Keep the roster spots at 32 and those spots go out to the best 32 players from each respective league. It doesn't matter if there's one rep or not. You pick the best 32 there regardless, just based purely on stats. And then once you have that 32 set, if there's not a representative from each team, that's when you throw them onto the roster. Because a guy like Paul DeYoung, who honestly isn't having a great year, shouldn't take a spot over someone who's having a better season. I still think every team deserves one player, but they just shouldn't be taking a spot from someone else. Now it's time to move on to the second way to fix the MLB All-Star Game experience, whatever you want to call it, because I could talk about that for hours. But Major League Baseball needs to switch the time of these games. It can't be during the middle of the week. I'm aware that there's no school going on right now because it's going to be the middle of July, so kids aren't in school. But kids are still going to bed earlier during the week than they are on weekends. If you move the game or the break to the weekend, it's way more accessible for people to watch. I know that when I was a kid, if it was 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night on a Tuesday, Wednesday, it didn't matter if there was no summer. I'm going to bed. And I love of baseball. I wanted to be able to watch the All-Star game, but I couldn't because it's just that time. It's time for bed. But if it was on the weekend, my bedtime got extended to long. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who's like this. And for a sport that's trying to gain popularity, having an issue with younger people, specifically the youth, watching the sport, considering it a dying sport, by making it during the week at a late time just isn't helping. The NBA All-Star Game stuff is on the weekend. I'm pretty sure the NHL All-Star Game stuff is on the weekend. And what do you know? Those are super popular to watch. I love watching the NBA All-Star Game weekend. I love watching the NHL stuff. It's so different. It's so much fun. I don't even care about hockey, but I'll watch their stuff for the All-Star break. And one of the reasons why, it's on the weekend. You just have a lot less to do on the weekend. It's a time of relaxing. It's a time to take in entertainment. It's a time to enjoy the things you love. Where during the week, you got other things to worry about. Think about just as an adult. You might have to go to bed at 10 o'clock that day because you wake up at 6 a.m. the next day to go to work. You have to make the decision between going to sleep or having to watch the game. That's a bad job. Put it on the weekends, that all goes goes away. Not to mention you don't have to compete with other TV shows, make people make a choice that way too, but that's kind of in part three. Because part 
three for me of this fix MLB All-Star game situation is that the game needs to start earlier regardless of when it is. Imagine you have the All-Star game on Sunday at like six o'clock or even during the day. One, two, three, four even. Four I think would be a perfect time. But you have the All-Star game on a Sunday, start it early. You have the Home Run Derby Saturday night. I know that I would be with my friends if I was 10, 11 years old, even 16 years old. I'd be hanging out with my friends on a Saturday night. We'd all get in a basement like we are right now and we'd sit around and watch the Home Run Derby. But during the week, it just makes it a lot more difficult to do that. You put it on the weekend, you're gonna get way more eyes on it. It just seems like it has to be the way to go in the future. And it's not even like the players get an extended weekend break because they hop right back on the schedule on Friday. So there really doesn't seem to be a reason why we're playing it during the middle of the week. Now for part three, which I kind of hinted out earlier in part two, we have to start the game earlier regardless. Everything needs to be early. Nationally televised baseball needs to be started earlier. I understand you want to get the West Coast audience involved as well. If you start the game at six, that's three on the West Coast, but you're also alienating the East Coast sometimes with these late starts at 7.30, 8 o'clock. Baseball is considered a slow sport, a sport that is long. The average game is right around three hours. Right now, the All-Star game is scheduled for Tuesday night at 7.30. If the game goes three hours, which is the average time of a game, it's ending around 10.30. That is way too late for these games to be on. You're going to lose a lot of the younger audience watching it. That just might be too late, especially during the middle of the week, like I just said. You're going to lose a lot of adults missing it because they have to go to work the next day. They're not trying to stay up till 10.30 some nights if they're waking up early. I just don't understand the need to start the game at 7.30. Start it at 6. That hour and a half difference would be huge huge to the amount of people that can watch it. It's just, I think it starts a little bit too late. And when you have the notion of being a slow and long sport, why would you want it to go deep into the night? I mean, there's been all-star games that go until what? 1130 sometimes midnight. That is so incredibly late. No reason for it. Start the games earlier. And if you put them on the weekend, wow, you can do a one o'clock game, a four o'clock game. That'd be amazing. Now for the fourth way, in my opinion, to help fix the all-star game experience, I think there needs to be more competition similar to the NHL and NBA all-star game weekends. Right now in Major League Baseball, we have the Home Run Derby. We have the future game, which is cool, but doesn't get enough credit or press. And we have the All-Star game. So you've got those three events. And I guess you have the celebrity softball event, but I'm not even counting the celebrity basketball game for the NBA or the celebrity hockey game for the NHL. That's one of those things where if anybody watches it, that's a positive. But there just needs to be more competitions, more variety. A lot of other baseball leagues around the world actually have some really good ideas for competitions that I think Major League Baseball should adapt. The first one I want to talk about is, I believe, called the Perfect Pitcher Challenge from the KBO, the Korean Baseball Organization. In this competition, a pitcher stands on the pitcher's mound and has 30 seconds to knock down seven bats that are standing up across the home plate area. This is just a simple, short, it would be quick, but people would be interested. People would watch. It's almost like the three-point contest in the NBA. Here, you got pitchers trying to knock down bats. Right now, the only thing we have is a home run derby. Why not show off the pitcher's skill? You know how hard it is to try to throw a baseball and knock down a bat? I did a video on it. It's extremely difficult. And yes, I'm aware I throw very weird. I have no rotator cuff. But I think that would be another great event that they could add. And don't worry, I got some more too. Korea also does a bunt challenge. No, get that out of here. Chicks dig the long ball. We're not doing bunting. Don't bunt hit home runs. I think another competition that they could add is I believe called the perfect hitter from Korea. Korea does it right. There's a batter at home plate and he either hits off a tee or I believe someone can actually throw to him as well. And he has to try to hit the ball into targets put all around the field. I think that would be something interesting to watch too. Now you wouldn't have these go on for extremely long times like you do the home run derby, but if maybe 30 minutes at a time for each of these competitions I'm going to mention, it would just add more spice. It would add a little more excitement to the MLB all-star game weekend. Cause right now there's really not a lot. It's the home run derby, the all-star game, which some people don't even watch and the futures game which a lot of people don't watch by adding more you get more excitement more viewers more watching another challenge that i think that they could add to the game is maybe having guys stand in center field or stand somewhere around the field and they have to be able to throw and hit targets around the field so similar to knocking down the bats at home plate that's for pitchers maybe this one's for fielders where you stand in center field there's a bucket at home plate there's a bucket at second bucket at first bucket at third you gotta hit that you gotta hit the target somehow just add more competitions please i would love to see mike trout go up against Mookie Betts, or not even those guys. If there's anybody who wants to do it, I would love to see who can be the most accurate player in this challenge. Why not have more content? Why not have more for people to watch? And then the final one, which is probably the least likely to ever happen, is like a running around the bases challenge. Why wouldn't you have guys do an inside the park home run? Or maybe something like beat the freeze where you gotta run from pole to pole. See who the fastest player in Major League Baseball is. You think Byron Buxton's the fastest? You think Trey Turner's the fastest? We'll find out here when you see with themselves racing around the field or racing pole to pole in the outfield. I think that would be super exciting. 
happening. Not to mention that there would be a ton of people gambling on it, which would also completely help with the interest of the game. So at the end of the day, I think Major League Baseball needs to add more competitions to the All-Star Game weekend, or not even a weekend because it's played during the week. What am I saying? But the All-Star Game experience, the Home Run Derby just isn't enough anymore. The fifth way that I think you should change it is actually by adding another version of the Home Run Derby, possibly. Again, a little, a little far-fetched, but add a pitcher Home Run Derby. Now, I don't think that you have this one, again, be a main event, maybe for 30 minutes or so you have it going quick, but I'd love to see Madison Bumgarner walk up there, try to hit some home runs in a derby. Zach Greinke, some of these other pitchers, it would be fun. It's not something that's going to be hugely popular. It's not going to be the thing that takes the All-Star game to the next level, but I think it'd be something that people definitely tune in to watch because who wouldn't want to see pitchers hit home runs? These aren't guys that get to hit typically. They do a lot of bunting, striking out, but you get the best guys up there like Michael Lorenzen, the dude who might be a two-way player. You got Shohei Otani who would be a part of it. You get Brendan McKay who's coming his way up. I think it'd be really interesting. And then the sixth and final way to fix the MLB All-Star game, which I think needs to happen right now, next year, 2020, you need to adopt this Major League Baseball is to go with the All-Star draft style like the NBA. The NBA assigns two captains. I think it was like Giannis and LeBron or James Harden, something like that. So in baseball, let's say it's Mike Trout and Cody Bellinger. They do a fantasy draft. They go round by round, picking position by position who they want on their team. Imagine Mike Trout and Christian Yelich on the same team. Imagine Jacob deGrom pitching to Pete Alonso in that bat. I think that that would really add some spice to the All-Star game. The game doesn't matter to begin with already. It's an exhibition game. Home field advantage isn't determined for the winner. So why are we even really keeping American League and National League besides to determine who makes it? Once you get the 32 from the AL and the 32 from the NL, put them together into a pool and let's get a draft going. Just look up the views for the NBA All-Star Game draft on YouTube. There's multiple videos with 3 million plus views. It's extremely popular. People love it. You get to put guys together that would never have a chance to play with each other. I think the MLB needs to adopt the fantasy draft all-star thing right now. So those are the six ways that I think Major League Baseball could help fix the all-star game and gain popularity with it. I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Give me some of your ideas. Let me know how you think Major League Baseball could fix the all-star game as well. Remember to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new and you enjoy the content. Wrote to 100k. Click that sub button. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and of course you can follow me on Amino now at Giraffe Nick Mark. Links in the description. And that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. YouTube recommends you watch this video right here, as well as this is my most recent upload. So click through to those who have not yet seen them. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.